Jefferson Parish officials are insisting the fatal shooting that happened inside of Oakwood Mall on Wednesday was an isolated incident. The mall opened back up today to the public, and officials say the mall, as it has been all holiday season, is secure. WDSU reporter Kelsey Davis was at Oakwood this morning as people arrived. Cindy Beaumont, Dolores Dufour, and Aradine Rome met up early Friday morning to join their walking group for some exercise around Oakwood Mall. But unlike other mornings they've come, Friday was the first morning the mall was back open after violence ended Christmas Eve shopping early for thousands of people. I kind of thought, well, I'm driving to the mall, and after what happened, it was kind of scary. It was a kind of eerie feeling. Um, um, my mother-in-law told me I didn't have nothing to worry about, but it was, I, I, I had second thoughts. On Wednesday, 24-year-old James Vaughn was shot and killed inside the mall. Video surveillance shows 25-year-old Gary Francois walking into the Foot Locker store and firing three times at Vaughn. After a brief chase, Francois was caught by deputies. He is now facing a charge of second-degree murder. Oakwood Center was doing really well for our Terry Town and the tax dollars, and so that did bother me big time uh, because I want to see it succeed. In a statement from Christmas night, Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office spokesperson John Fortunato called this an isolated incident, saying, quote, Francois was determined to accomplish the task of shooting Vaughn in spite of added security both inside and outside of the mall. Oakwood Mall, just like all other shopping malls, both large and small throughout Jefferson Parish, had adequate security throughout the entire holiday season, end quote. Although upset by the tragic events of Christmas Eve, the ladies say they were not going to be intimidated by what happened and want other people to go on with life as normal, too. They need, need to come in groups. They need to support each other. And they need to show that we are, as Americans, we, we stand for this freedom and, and choice. And that was a bad thing. And that's what you're saying when you, when you come and you continue your life. Reporting on your side from Terrytown, Kelsey Davis, WDSU News.